one pound of bacalao in here, which the night before I put it in water. But first, um, I used the one who comes in bags and boneless. What I did was I rinsed it up under the faucet and I took all the salt and I put it in water um, overnight. And then uh, today I just drained the water and I rinsed the bacalao a little bit because these bacalaos come with a lot, a lot of salt. And this is what I'm going to use. I have a tomato in here. I um, already washed them. And I'm going to cut it in dice. You can use um, the amount, depending on how you like it. I just make, make it one pan of bacalao. But if you make it more, you can put more. Or if you like, um, you can put, you know, you're welcome to put more. So it's not a sad amount of the uh, vegetables you put to this recipe. So I'm going to cut it in dice. I already put this back out to boil, just enough, not like five, six minutes. And you gotta be careful when you put this to boil because sometimes the water just cup up and you know you can dirty your your stuff. I'm here finished cutting the uh, tomatoes and the bacalao is took approximately after it's boiling, you're gonna turn it off. You don't wanna overcook it also. So as soon as it's boiling, just wait two minutes and that's it. I have a small onion, the about the pan, you can put more, you can put less. Uh, some people like raw onion. I'm going to put it raw, but if you want, you can even saute the onions a little bit and wait until it's a little bit cold and then add them in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the tomato. I'm going to cut it in small pieces. <laughs> Gonna add it in there to the bowl. I'm using some cilantro in here. This is the amount I'm gonna put. I'm also gonna cut it in small pieces. The cilantro is optional, given a, a, a good flavor. And knowing that the cilantro is very strong, I just use it a little bit, but like I say, it does depend on your taste. And this dish it goes well with green olive so if you want to add some green olive you can add some green olive also now i have the bacalao in here which is cold and uh, make sure if you're using the bacalao um with bones make sure you remove all the bones from the bacalao we cut it in the spanish peanuts so now i'm going to cut it in and put it in there Gonna move everything and we gonna add something else and it's the avocado. You wanna make sure you taste the for salt if you think this the more salt, then you're gonna put salt and pepper to your taste. It is fine, just leave it the way it is because you don't want it to be salty. I have a, a avocado in there, uh, this avocado bought it like a few days ago, so I hope it's still good. I just gonna cut the back part and then you're gonna remove the seed, remove the skin. And then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna cut it in a small piece. 
So I'm gonna add approximately, you can add one big one or two or three small ones, but that depends on your taste and how much vegetable you like in there. Well, the other one was that, so since that I bought this small one, so I'm gonna add this one also. This one is a little bit bad in there. You just cut the back part and that's it. So we're gonna cut that. And then the same thing, remove the skin and cut it in small pieces. Make sure you combine everything. And now I'm gonna add some of the uh, olive uh, vegetable. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use the measurement that way you know. But if I really I do the I this is a one third cup of fresh of cup measurement. And if I, you can use a vegetable oil, coconut oil, olive oil, whatever you want. I use an olive oil and then a sprinkle of salt. If you want to put more, you can, you know, put more in there. And also, we're going to add some white vinegar. I'm going to use the same uh, measurement, but I'm not going to fill it up up to the top. I'm just going to use this much, probably less than half. And then sprinkle some in there. Some people add a uh, boiled potatoes. If you want to add some more potatoes, you can just boil two or three potatoes and cut it in a dice and add them in there. And like I say, the green olive. And you just gotta cover it with a plastic paper. You can leave a refrigerator and that gonna help for a few days. Some people eat it with white um, rice. Uh, some people eat it with green bananas boiled. Some people eat it with bread or crackers. Or just the way it is and we're gonna taste it to see if we need salt it's very important that you taste there at first that way you know if you have to adjust the salt And here the final result of my gazpacho, we call them that in Puerto Rico, fish salad. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my video with your family and friends. And I will see you until the next video. Bye-bye.